Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to test if a value falls within a specific range. Um, so yeah, as a reminder, this project is being built upon the following starter project in REPL.IT. We're using this REPL.IT, R-E-P-L, Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop. It's just basically like a quick way to do tests for programming. Um, so here we want to say approximately and then the value, the actual, the expected, the difference, and then a message. So we want to assert that the actual is equal, is equal expected to within plus or minus of delta. So if actual is uh, zero and the expected is 10, then the delta to within a delta range. Hmm. Okay, cool. I'm not really completely um, understanding that. But anyways, we headed back over to the REPL thing. Um, this is the last project that we did. We did the is below. So now we want to do the approx approximately. Um, so the actual expected, and then there's a range and a message. So here we have uh, assert dot approximately. And then we want to have, here we have uh, the weird numbers. Weird numbers. Interesting. Where's weird numbers coming from? So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to press command F, type in weird numbers. It's a function one plus delta. Okay, so we're passing in the delta and then we're saying, um, I'm not sure which one's going to evaluate first or yet, but the evaluate. Um, one plus delta, one plus delta. So yeah, delta is hmm, interesting. Not really sure. Weird numbers, 0 0.5 and then one. No, no, weird number at 0 0.5. So if we pass in 0 0.5 to weird numbers, our delta will be 0 0.5, 1.5 minus a random number. That'll get us a little bit, that'll give us a, no, a negative number. Um, interesting. Edit this. 0, 1, at point 0.2, does that get us something else? Okay, so I'm going to grab our terminal. I'm going to press Command-C. I'm going to stop our server. Um, and then I'm going to come back up here. And I'm going to say delta. Okay, so 1 plus uh, 0 0.5 minus math dot random. So the REPL will just tell us what this uh, reg registers to. Okay, so I forgot to start node. This is just bash. So what we want to do is go node. Node will start our REPL, and then we can say one plus delta uh, minus math dot random delta. Okay, yeah, we, we need to, so I press the uh, up button to get us back, and I go 1.0.5. Okay, cool, so that gets us this. Now if I press up, I can just keep running it, obviously, or I mean, not obviously, but math dot random is going to give us a random number, so it's going to be you know, within a certain range. <clears throat> and so, yeah, so this is approximately. Approximately has uh, three parameters, actual, expected, delta, and then the message. And so here they're saying, uh, this is our actual, expected, one, and then edit this, zero. So here they're saying that they want it to be within zero. I don't know, I'm gonna say two, right? The delta, the delta, meaning the difference between here. I mean, this, this, the difference between one and that is never greater than uh, one. So two is going to be fine. And so here, if we do the same thing here, we say um, weird numbers at zero point two. Weird numbers at zero point two. That's going to be render out to. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.2 minus math dot random. And here we're going to get, I mean, it's probably going to be tighter, right? So what we're thinking about now is this, this, this weird numbers is always going to be rendering out to what I've just uh, is illustrated here. So 0 0.94, 0 0.90, 0 0.1.71. And um, how is that different than this guy? Well, it always seems to be within 0 0.2, to be honest. I mean, I guess we could go 0 0.2. So maybe that's what they're asking here. Um, choose the minimum range, the third parameter, to make the test always pass. It should be less than 1. Oh, they want their test to be less than 1. Okay, cool. Well, with this one, when I was running this the last three times, it was always within 0.2. So we can make it this one 0.2. And then when... I can also scroll up by pressing the up button here on the node, 
And then I'm back at the one, um, the weird numbers at 0.5, which uh, comes up here. Weird numbers at 0.5, delta is 0.5, one plus 0.5 minus random. And so that's what I've got here because I pressed up twice. Well, here we're getting what looks like it's always within, um, man, that right there, it's 0.4 over. So we could say this one's uh, 0 0.4. We can see if this passes. Um, so basically what they're just trying to say is that, um, you know, you've got your message and then the, uh, the difference between what you're expecting and then what you have here. Um, so yeah, if we run the tests, um, I just clicked run rather than pressing control C twice and then pressing NPM start. You could do it either way. Um, it looks like the tests passed. So I scroll back up here. It looks like approximately is passing now. So if I come back over here, uh, no, no. So I'm pressing con uh, con command one and command two to get different uh, uh, tabs on the browser. And so now if I copy uh, the browser uh, right here, this is where our destination will be. You'll see now it refreshed. We can come back over here and it uh, looks like we're going to pass. <clears throat> Interesting. Your test should use approximately. You should choose the correct range. You should choose the correct range. Okay, cool, we're not passing. Even though it says that we're passing. You know what that tells me is we should just try it again. Hmm, all tests should pass. You should use approximately actual expected range. You should choose the correct range. Hmm, choose the minimum range, third parameter to make it always pass. It should be less than one. So this is our third parameter. Here's our first parameter. Here's our second parameter here, and then here's our third parameter. And so apparently it's not always passing for them. So let's just buff these up and see if that makes a difference. So I just went from 0.4 to 0.3. Let's uh, stop the server, restart the server. Um, here it's doing that. If I scroll back up, okay, approximately it's not working now according to ours. So let's run the tests over on free code camp, see if that passes. Oh, interesting. It thought that this one, that the first one should pass. And this one, that, that's the same, so hmm. Okay, so I went from 0.4 to 0.3. So maybe if I go 0.4 and 0.2, that'll work. So I'm gonna stop the server and restart it. Approximately worked last time, and now it's not working. And so using random numbers with testing is kind of a funny thing. So it's not working now, but if I scroll over to here and I say I've completed it, now nothing passes, interesting. Okay, cool, so let's look at the error messages. So I scroll back up here, assertion error, expected 0.455 to be close to one, uh, plus or minus 0.2. Okay, so maybe we should make this one like 0 0.6. And then we'll stop it and start it, see how it goes. So I want to scroll back down to the bottom of the terminal, so we're watching the same thing. Mm. As the tests print out, they... Okay, so green, it, we've got approximately green now, and we don't have any... Our assertion tests are the next problem, 119, which is down here, which it involves, you know, the next project. And so... Now, let's see what happens if we run the tests. Still doesn't run. Stop, run. So I'm just restarting the server right now. It's running locally for us. And yet, if I run it here, it's not running. Hmm, okay, well. Let's just bump it up. Let's go 0 0.5, like 0 0.8, and see if that, if I stop and restart it, does this. My guess is that the comparisons will still pass because we're just increasing the amount of uh, range that we have. If I scroll up here, okay. Approximately seems to work. Okay, so here it's running again. I'm not exactly sure why I was failing previously. Uh, let's see what happens. Ah, well, there it was. So I guess they wanted, maybe I was just miscalculating the uh, range potential in the uh, weird numbers um, 
uh, function. And so that's probably what was happening. And so what I, we did was just extended the range and that made it so that the tests uh, could pass. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.